so easy, such easy power that Collins seems to possess. Oh, it's brilliant. And whatever she's doing right now, it's certainly working. This tournament has progressed, Zachary. That's quality tennis once more from Collins. It was... oh, it's a super shot. Collins, I think, was expecting the ball into the open space. Well, for once, a, a little bit of a wild game from Collins, but... Sakari reining it all in. Oh, built the point beautifully. And it was some way to finish too. Tidy tennis from Collins. Oh, it's glorious. Danimal is on the tear again. She's a set away from the final here in Charleston and a set away from what would be a 12th match win in a row. Takes the opener, 6-3 in 35 minutes. To do with the penetrating strike of her opponent. We've seen players try and mix it up, try and switch up the spins and the speeds, but nothing has worked against Daniel Collins. How much does it play in your mind? The Oh, it's a superb forehand. With so many other external sounds as well, of course. Oh, that's... Might have just channeled that frustration into the backhand. But that's been a big difference. Those cheap points behind the first serves compared to Zachary. is audacious. What a pass from Zachary. Danimal dominates again. It will be back-to-back -back finals for Danielle Collins. A 12th straight match win. And once again, just had too much for Maria Zachary, who maybe just made a few too many unforced errors herself, but take nothing away from Danielle Collins. She's in the zone right now, and she's still very much in the zone. And not only that, she's in tomorrow's final. Gets the better of Zachary in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3.